Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for uh, Demon Slayer Infinity Train, the movie. Uh, so, it's kind of weird doing this now, because I actually just found out that they're, like, the, I think the beginning of Season 2 rehashes what happens in the movie, which is a little weird to me that, like, why even make the movie, but, uh, like I said, I literally just found it out while I was getting prepared for this movie, like, a few couple minutes ago, you know, so maybe there's some info that I don't know, but, uh, but anyway, if you happen to be here and you haven't seen any of my other content, I like to say this for movies because sometimes people stop in that are new just for the movie, uh, I do timer-based reactions, which is why this video is so long, which means that you guys are gonna need to have your own footage that you sync up with the timer that I have in the corner, um, or it's gonna be in this corner, actually. Um, but yeah, so there isn't going to be any footage on the screen. There might be a, like, 10 to 20 seconds in the beginning to help you guys sync up and everything with me. Uh, but other than that, you guys are going to need to have the, the movie and sync up. I like to let people know that, uh, whenever it's a new show or on a movie, just in case they're, they're new, you know, but, uh, but anyway, uh, so... I also want to add in a correction, if you have seen my Demon Slayer series, uh, the final episode we had that really compelling uh, Muzan scene, and I made some mistakes in that episode while also dealing with some issues with the subtitles, and by watching other reactors and seeing other versions of the episode, I, I kind of realized the stuff that I missed. And then I realized some of the issues with the subtitles that I had uh, and, and corrected those mistakes. I, it was so bad that, honestly, I, I almost like just took the, the video down and added in a snip of me saying all of this here and then re-upload it. But I decided not to do it. I'll just own up to my mistakes, you know. So in the final episode of season one... I was too busy trying to write down, like, I have it all written down here, like, waning six, waning one, Muzan looking like woman. I, I just wrote down too much random stuff that doesn't matter. And and I tried to sit there and keep track of who, who was what number and everything, and that didn't matter, because pretty much all of them except for one of them was dying. But I spent so long doing that that it distracted me from the episode. And for one, I've been confused throughout the whole series of what the waning blood moons are. And if I would have paid more attention to the dialogue in that episode, I would have figured it out. So, to, to make this faster, because I'm rambling. Uh, basically, I, I now know that the waning blood moons are the bottom six. I thought because they were numbered one through six, that meant, that meant they were the top six. Like, they were the best, because... You know, to usually in shows, number one is the strongest, you know? Um, so I assumed that they were the strongest. Rewatching it and seeing that dialogue again, he makes it pretty clear that it's the bottom six. And the top six are there. They haven't, like, the top six haven't been changed in years, you know? They're, like, the most powerful and everything. It might have even been a hundred years or something that they haven't been that they haven't been killed or changed, and they're the ones that do most of the killing of the Hashira. That's my bad. I was so busy writing stuff down that I missed some of the dialogue and everything. So I just want to let you guys know that I do have that uh, corrected now, and I do know. So going forward, uh, I'm I'm not going to be as clueless as I was. And now I know that the waning blood moons are just the bottom six shitty ones, you know. Um, but, okay. So with that out of the way, I love this show. I don't, because of that, I don't want to go into too much, but we're going to this Infinity Train. Our character's bored of the train at the end of Season 1, and uh, we know that Rengoku there is there. The uh, He's the Flame Breather, not the Fire Breather, because those are two different things. And uh, and then we have Waning, um, Waning Blood Moon 1, right, who earned a little bit of respect from Muzan, got his blood, and was told to go kill uh, Hashira in general, and the one with the Hanafuda, Hanafuda earrings, which is Tanjiro. So, with that out of the way, I am excited to see this movie. It's long, so let's get started, shall we? Alright guys, we're gonna start here in 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, now. Also, when I mentioned the preview, I think oh, I'm going to skip some of these logos in the beginning because I got a copyright strike for showing these logos one time, I think. So we had one in Japanese that I couldn't read, then we had an Annie Bilex. Now we have a book into a movie. Nice. Shuisha. <laughs> What is this one? Oh, UFO table. Nice. So the preview will start when the movie starts. So right here, you'll start to see the preview for like 10 seconds in the corner. And, uh, and yeah, okay, let's watch. Oh. The, the master of the demon slayers. Who's the woman that he's with, too? I think I need to turn this up a little bit. Damn. I was wondering if he was a seeker or badass, but seeing his health being this way... Maybe not. Hmm. Seven cases? My subtitles just stopped. Son of a bitch. Why does this shit keep happening? Okay, well... I tried changing the subtitles. Um, the version of the movie I'm watching has two options for subtitles, and... Uh, I changed to the other ones. I might have to go back and watch that. Um, I'll probably go back and watch that scene again because for some reason his last like two or three sentences just didn't even show subtitles. And now it's a little loud. Inosuke. <laughs> and they all made it. Yes, we saw that at the end of last season. So, season one. <laughs> yeah, they've never been on a train before, so they're freaking out. Well, at least, uh, seems like Tanjiro and Inosuke haven't. Seems like Zenitsu knew, uh, knew about trains, at least. Such a good boy. Always helping people. He's just dragging him. So. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yep. That's him. I imagine. Big old train. Oh, look at that, guys. Of course, right when it shows UFO table, it's like, look at this beautiful landscape. Mugen train. Also known as Infinity Train. This is him. Very intense eating. Is he just saying delicious after every bite? <laughs> what a quirky character. Okay. Not just some random glutton. What a weirdo. Oh my god. Is that all the stuff that he's eaten? Uh oh. Ominous light flickering. Okay. I pray I don't lose power. It is super windy out right now. Holy shit. It was downpouring earlier, too. It's crazy. This is kind of wind that makes us lose power, but... See if we can make it through a two-hour movie. You can talk about the difference between flame and fire breathing. <laughs> this guy, he's so cheery all the time. <laughs> Yes. I know nothing. Ha <laughs> 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 yeah, it's a bad thing. Or people who don't make it far, right? Hmm. No idea which style the master is a trait for Black Swords, which is interesting, since he is kinda 
in between water and the dance for the fire god that his father left him too and everything. So the Hino Kami Kagura. Oh my god. That train looks so good. God damn it, Zenitsu. A lot of people. Oh, the I like the douche douche at the background, the drums. Uh oh. We starting already? We can't see this guy's eyes, it seems ominous. Hmm. <laughs> Freaking said it too. Do you get a whiff? A whiff of something's in it. Uh, Tanjiro? Yeah, Zen it too. I'm okay. Ooh. So what happened to this guy? Dude, the lighting when it flickers looks so good. Like, like, oh shit, yep. This is the crazy faced one that we saw when we were first told about the mission, but then we also know that the... that waning one is here. Oh, dude, that looks so good! Oh my god! His sword looks awesome, and also just the fire effect. Oh god, that's loud. Oh. Oh, look at that fire. Oh, so quick. Jeez. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he did. Dude, we're only 20 minutes in, and we saw that shit. That was incredible. Do you think it's possible that Tanjiro's sword could change colors again, like, when he commits to a style, maybe? Or maybe he will just be the first black sword Hashira in sometime in the future. Obviously not anytime soon. Ugh. He gonna let them take care of it? Okay, maybe not. You know, Skay. Oh shit! He dodged it. Oh shit! Rengoku saved him that time. So fast! The sound effects are amazing, too. I think I need to lower the volume back down to my normal. I'm all the way back to where I started now. It's 
So I also get a lot of 3D audio, or not, not 3D, sorry, but like surround sound audio going on. Nice. Just look at the neck, oh, it's gross, but just like the scorching of it, oh, it looks so good. I feel like this is just gonna be an orgy of video, uh, of, of fucking animation. Oh my god. What are they doing? What is this? If I didn't watch so much anime, I'd be like, wow, so they have the ability to fly. Mm. That's so ominous. Okay. Nothing seemed to happen. They're resting. Okay. Oh, put them to sleep. Oh, damn. Ugh. What the fuck? So he can use his hand as like a puppet thing? So he wants them to tie him down. What did he do to those people to make them so compliant? Other than just be creepy, you know? I guess if you see something that terrifying, maybe you just obey it. But... Look at that snow, guys. Are we back at the beginning? When he ran into his family? His scar isn't like it was in the past. Okay, he already has a sword. Alright, so he's aware. Alright. So this is just the dream, the blissful dream shit that that the creepy talking hand puts you in, I suppose. Ah, oh, siblings. Damn. Giving him a dream of if his family didn't die. That's cruel, man. Oh, he's back to his little bit younger self with the different scar now. Damn, that's cool. 
So it's like he was fighting the dream as his normal self, and then because he ran headfirst into it and kind of accepted it or whatever, maybe that's why he reverted a little bit. Yep, he's missing his hand, so he does have to actually use his hand. It's not like a third hand. Plop. Oh, shit. Tie themselves to them? Interesting. That's not a big rope, though. They can snap that so easily. So there must be more to the rope. Katandro had, like, so much rope tied around him, and he was able to snap it. Prior to all his training, too. He's crying, though, it's sad. So does he still have his sentience? My thought is, is... Could he ask his mom anything about his father? About... But because it's in his own head, in his own dream, the mother might not know because he doesn't know because it's pulling off of his own memories. Kind of thing, you know? But I wasn't sure if he was, like, aware. Could he be like, hey, mom... Tell me more about that Hinokami Kagura dance. A creepy dude. Yeah, probably the sleeper he goes, uh, the deeper into the sleep he goes, the... The, uh... The more he loses his sense of self from the outside world and embraces the world that he's currently in. Oh my god. Of course. Nice to hear Nezuko talking again, though, even though it's in Zenitsu's dream. <laughs> God damn it, Zenitsu. Jesus! <laughs> I like how they do awesome lightning effects for fucking Sanusu's dream. Ah, oh, yes, Inosuke's. I want to see Inosuke's. Let's go, baby. Why is Nezuko with him? Why does she look like that? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Pondro. <laughs> Chiwitsu. Oh my god. Of course he's dreaming about the train.
Jesus. Okay. Hope you're enjoying your crazy dreams. To be honest, I have some pretty nutty dreams. So I, I can't blame Inosuke. What is Rengoku dreaming about? Oh, we get to see? I want to know. Oh. A family member? One that maybe he lost? Or is that himself? Okay. So that's his father laying there? Uh... No approval from your father? Jeez. So he's that kind of father. The kind of father that hates himself and drops it on his son because of it. Oh, he has a brother too. No, because he didn't acknowledge me. Hmm, okay, so he's a former Hashira. He just quit. Hmm. Oh. I like that he's honest, you know, in a way. Like, he could have tried to benefit his brother by giving him false hope and lying, you know? But I'm sometimes not a big fan of that false hope. I kind of like that he... no. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so... So she invaded his dream. To the edge of the dream. Well, shit. Kill him within the dream, I see. Well, damn. That's a spiritual core he was talking about uh, that she's about to go try to kill, right?
That is some fire. Can she get hurt in this world? Hmm. I wonder if that's a symbolism of using his fire breathing like all the time that Tanjiro just learned. Have you seen a spiritual core before? You say you've never seen... Maybe he's used these people to do the same shit before. Oh! Shit! He woke up. Oh my god. Is she a demon? Or is she just a human? Damn. All right, Tanjiro, are you going to have a survival instinct like that, too? Because he's going to have someone in that dream, too, doing the same thing, right? <laughs> oh. Sucks knowing all these adorable kiddos are dead. All right, this guy. Got some more wood to turn into his charcoal to sell. He said, Nezuko, let's go while holding wood on his back. Why did I just say that? And where is Nezuko? We haven't seen Nezuko in this dream. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, in broad daylight. Okay, I get it. I was, I was confused by why he was shocked about broad daylight and was thinking, I was thinking he was scared of demons at night, but then I was like, wait, why did he say broad daylight? It should be fine in daylight. That's right, because she's a demon. Oh, the box. So, so there's little bits of, of Tanjiro that are remembering things now. Interesting. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. That's cool. Damn. Nice. Is he going to break the spell? Ooh. Did he get pushed back into the spell again? It just reset him. Nighttime, right? Yeah, what about Nezuko? An unknown factor. <laughs> oh, 
it seems like he's struggling in there. Oh, that's a goal. Trying to wake him up. <gasps> Head pats. <laughs> oh, jeez, she hit him on. Oh. Whoa, shit! She used her blood demon arts? Oh. Nezuko in that tiny form. Oh, nice. Nice. Nezuko in that tiny form being so sad and just made me so emotional. I don't know why. All right. Is he gonna find the barrier? Or he's gonna find the guy? Oh, there she is. No, 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 keep going. Nezuko as a human, though. Ooh, so they saw the fire. Interesting that in a dream that they even acknowledge it. Yeah. No. They hung on this young boy for a while. I wonder if there's anything significant to it. Oh. Oh. The voice acting so good. Why is this getting me emotional? It's just a dream. Like, it's weird because I feel bad for Tanjiro, but I'm getting emotional by, like, the kid crying and, and yelling out for his brother, like, don't leave us behind, you know? Background music's so good, too. Got me a little bit. A little bit of watery eyes, guys. <laughs> oh, there he is. This one seems to be delaying it a little more. But he's going, okay. 
Whoa. That's cool. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. Just reflecting his good nature kind of thing. I'm trying to think of like the symbolism of like the clear floor reflecting like the sunlight, you know? <laughs> oh! That's creepy. Oh, God. Huh. Jesus. Okay, so this is Sandit Seas. One. Pitch dark, huh? Why is it pitch black? Whoa. He has like. I don't know what they're called, like, tree clippers, like, trimmers. Oh my god, he's pissing a guy that's there. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god, the faces! <laughs> <laughs> His face is so ridiculous when he freaks out like that. Oh my god. Because the people on this train are gonna be your undoing. I guess he's confident regardless, though. Eh, it was buying time. Yeah, it looks like there's a film over everything for me, too. Like, this is a film or something? I'm just kidding. Hmm. But you train to use it while you're sleeping. Oh, Rokodaki? Wait, no. That's his father. It almost sounded like a Rokodaki at first, but that was his father. I couldn't tell by the faint whisper at first. Hmm. Is he gonna cut into his subconscious? Oh, is he going to kill himself in the dream? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's going to cut his own head off. You crazy bastard. They didn't show us decapitation of Tanjiro. It worked. He's awake. Oh, look at all this goal. <laughs> Did she expect a headbutt back? You're just choking that girl out. 
What happened to the guy that he's tied to now that he's awake? If you undo the... Oh, okay, so his... Interesting. Ah. So, what if you take the ropes off your friends? I guess that's how you bypass his amazing smell. Shouldn't sever it with his sword. Interesting. Oh. Interesting. I thought she had to do it through her blood, yet she just held her hand above it. Maybe there's more to her power. Maybe she can set things on fire if she can get close to them and touch them. But she can also make explosions using her blood or something. Maybe it's two different abilities. Oh. Oh, shit! Well, she's awake again. Well, they're all waking up. Is he not going to do it after he saw Tandra's beautiful world? Yeah, he's crying. Knock him out. And bop. Yep. Yeah, with his training. They should be no problem. So it seems they're just humans being manipulated. I wasn't sure by the way they were speaking. Oh. God. Oh. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> Tanjiro is so good he'll he even shows people to his own demise subconsciously. <laughs> Little Nezuko is so adorable. Look at her. Although her hands are kind of creepy. I will say that. I didn't mention it when I saw them, but... Little... Little Deadpool hands with little tiny claws. <laughs> hmm... 
So are we going to have to see the first... I... I don't think Tanjiro is going to handle it all on its own. Maybe. Probably not. I don't know. We'll see. But... I guess since he's the first one awake... We're going to get to see him go first. Ugh. He looks like he hasn't adapted to the blood too well. Like, he looks like he only partially adapted with, like, the way his veins are and everything. Because he was supposed to acclimate with Muzan's blood. Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Jeez. Oh. Okay. Explaining how he did it. Tanjiro is just that good. Keep a calm ahead though, Tanjiro. Don't don't get too heated. Yep. He's the one with the earrings. Did he say that out loud? I don't think he did. Ooh. We got a glimpse at some of the upper rank demons. Tenth form. That's a long name of an ability. He's gonna try to put him to sleep again? Jesus, just... Instant. Nope. Not gonna work this time. I hope that's not the only thing your blood art can do. God. I can't imagine what that feels like to just, like, fall asleep. I guess I do know what... I've had moments where I fall asleep, like, for a few, like, micro-sleeps, you know? Oh. Nice. Oh my god, really? Holy shit. He's just going under the spell and killing himself. Oh, oh my god.
Yeah, that's insane. That's what I said. Oh my god. Show is showing him some torturous dreams now. Come on, dude, it's just a dream. Ooh, his father. Jeez. That's brutal, man. Yep. Yeah, it's Tandro. Oh my god, the voice acting just gave me chills. Holy shit. What? Really? No, there's gonna be more to it. This whole thing was a dream or something. There's no way. We have an hour left in the movie. There's Unless there's something bigger coming, there's no way this guy's dead right now. I'm sorry, that's awesome that he cut it. Yeah. Yup. Shit. Nope. Ugh. Ugh. What? What? Ugh. I hate this thing. It reminds me of, like, the weird tentacle arm that moves on head. What? What? They have to kill the train! How do you... How do you know what to cut, then? Jeez. It's like some Resident Evil monster now. Well, shit. Jump off the front, destroy the track so it goes off the rails, wait till sun time. Also known as daytime, not sun time. She's just burning them, trying to wake them up. Oh. Oh, well, he's awake. Explosive awakening. Uh. He's like, I knew it. It is the master of this land. <laughs> Oh my god. Fuck. 
fifth bang. <laughs> Crazy gunning. Ugh. Nice. Good shit. God, this is insane. I wonder if now that he's fused with the train, if he could separate it from it. Because, like, what's going to happen in daytime? Unless he just drives the train into, like, a tunnel or somewhere undercover. What are we... Uh, no. Surface slash. Yep. Fuck. No, I think third is water wheel. Third or fourth. My bad. Sounds creepy. It's nice that they're asleep and not panicking, panicking and running everywhere, though. Oh, yes. Revert to normal size. Ooh, fight the demon as well, Nezuko. Yes. Nice. Yes. Save the passengers who probably look like your family to you. Because they're human. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Zenitsu's gonna wake up and save her. Don't worry, baby. I'm here to help. Yup. Yup! <laughs> oh my god. That was awesome. I gotta admit, as much as I'm not the biggest fan of Zenitsu because of his freakouts... His attacks are so damn cool, how fast he moves. First form. The only one he can do. Thunderclap and Flash. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. Does he go back asleep? I guess he is already unconscious, technically, in his sleeping state. It was perfect for Zenitsu. I didn't even think about that. I had too many other things on my mind. You can't hit the passengers either. Rengoku. Seems he's awake. Uh. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. Nice. Five.
Damn. All right. Jeez. What a badass. <laughs> Yeah, five cars. That's insane. Ugh. So he appeared before them, too. <laughs> he was awesome. He is awesome. He's in charge of three. The front part is surprisingly goo free. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh oh, B bunch of hands. <laughs> Get away from me, shoo, shoo! <laughs> yes. Nice. I don't think he's happy about that. <laughs> nice. Is that enough? Ooh, it looks like a spine. Jeez. It looks like he blocked it. Yep. not coming out of the coal. Reinforcing it now. Ooh. I can praise you for that. Well, shit. Gonna try to put him to sleep again. You know how to wake yourself up, though, right? Alright, did he get that off in time? Jeez. Does he know Ske have the will to kill himself? I feel like he might.
He made it in. Wake up with your eyes shut. Shit. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, don't do it in real life. Be careful. Yeah, you're in the real world right now. Oof. Holy shit. Ah. So because he can't... Yeah, okay. Nice. I like that little bit of detail that that mask came into play. Uh, this conductor. Oh, he took the hit. I do want to see more of Rengoku, though, I will say that. Please give me some more of that before the movie is over. Oh, that looks good. Nice. So Zenitsu's handling the front three cars, right? There's eight total. Rengoku has the back five, and then these two. Oh. Nice. Damn. Uh-oh. Nice. <laughs> Fourth thing. Slice and dice. All right. Come on, Tantro. Oh, yes. Clear blue sky. Shit. All right. Did that... Did that actually do it? Oh, nice, Rengoku. Oh, jeez. Yep. In that moment, worried about the the guy becoming a murderer if he dies. Jeez, alright. Seems like he'll be okay. Is that actually going to be the end of the demon, though? Tch! <laughs> Santaro. <laughs> I didn't need to catch a cold.
<laughs> oh, shit. Tanjo is such a good boy. <laughs> this dream has really gotten to him. Oh shit, yep. A little bit of demon left, maybe? Oh, no, the body is disintegrating. I like how it's like playing this music and it's like, no, I can't die here. I haven't been able to eat humans. You know, it's like, feel bad for me, but. That's a cool image of him. She's a demon. What's that about? <laughs> this poor guy. He's like going through. <laughs> I don't I almost don't know is he I mean it seems like he is dead oh one of them has a sword could it be a former Hashira? Man, they're really teasing up those upper ranks. Yeah, what if what if that what if that upper rank blood moon is a former demon slayer turned demon? <laughs> You've completed the first step. There's only 9,999 more. Hmm. Interesting. You can use breathing to isolate the torn blood vessels and maybe stop himself from bleeding. Whoa. Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. Hmm. All right, he did it. Damn.
Hell yeah. Uh oh, what is that? Is this one of the upper ranks? Oh, oh shit. The music. I knew, I knew that UFO table has not shown off enough this movie. The movie's been amazing. But I knew there had to be something a little more in store, especially because there's 30 minutes left in the movie. I guess maybe like 20 minutes, barring credits. Going straight for Tanjiro. Oh! Jeez! He's gonna regenerate from that, but still. Ugh. Yep. I know this voice actor. I just heard him recently, too. <laughs> Akaza. Hmm, is this what they did to the other guy that's in the upper ranks? Hmm, that, I, that I'm theorizing is a demon slayer? <clears throat> Damn. Oh uh, shit, he got beat up. Yeah, Sring Goku. Oh shit! Here we go, baby! Oh my god, that already looks crazy. It's like a snowflake. Dude, look at this. The music. Dude, whose voice is that? It's gonna bug me. I'm gonna have to look it up after this. Oh my god. <laughs> no one ever took him up on his offer, okay. So maybe... Maybe not. Got an arm. Yeah, he's gonna regenerate it though. Yeah. 
air type. <laughs> Some kind of invisible force attack. Jeez. All right. Damn. The fire looks so cool. <laughs> I, I just love that little shift. That was great. Oh, that's cool. The shot behind him when he does that. That's great. It's been a long time since one of the upper ranks have fell, right? So it's going to be huge if this guy dies, right? Oh shit. That's an order. Jeez, he's just blocking his sword with his arm. He can just take it. Damn. Shit. It's crazy this guy, like, thinking about Rui and how quickly Tomioka was able to stop him. And then there's this guy holding his own this much against a, a Hashira. Just, like, thinking about the difference in those two levels. Blazing Universe. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, or in a different dimension. That's crazy. Yeah. Reminds me of when the people were watching the All Might versus All for One fight, where it's just like, they're on such a different level. There's no way I can go in and help. Ooh. Such fast regeneration, it's insane. Oh. Rengoku won't die here, right? Come on. Got him right in the eye. Friggin' the demon hasn't even shown any sign of worry yet. It's terrifying. Oh, that's cool. Holy shit. He went for the other eye. Finally got a cut on his chest, getting closer to his neck, maybe. No. That wasn't a clean through on the... Oh, shit. It's 
Some blood came from... Come on, be okay, Rengoku. What happened? The suspense is killing me. I mean, they beat demons all the time, it's just you upper ranks are pretty damn strong. But I, I get what he's trying to get at. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yes. Here we go. Rengoku. Oh, that line is terrifying. Oh, <laughs> that looks awesome. Set your heart ablaze. Oh, what is this? Ninth form. Annihilation type. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, that looks incredible. Oh, he knocked it out of the way. This is crazy. Oh, went right up his chest. <laughs> Holy shit. Was that enough? It didn't cut sideways, but it cut vertically. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh. Shit, man. I don't know that you can survive an attack like that. 
Uh, his mom died from illness, right? I think they might trade kills here. I think he might kill the demon, but potentially he might die. Some nice advice from a mother. No. Damn. Yes. Oh shit. Carve his damn head off. Yes. Oh shit. The sun's coming up. Oh, he's gonna bring you down with him. Holy shit. Oh, he's getting his sword. Is Tanjiro gonna help here? Just help, just hit the back of his sword and just help push it through. <laughs> That can't be good. Jesus. Oh. Yes. Get in there, boys. Oh, oh, he just ripped his arms off. Shit. Oh, his blade is broken in his throat. Come on. No, you gotta stop him. Oh my god, he's gonna throw it. Oh, shit. Oh, what a throw. Oh, shit. You coward. Jeez. What about your sword, Tantro?
Damn, that voice acting. Shit, dude. God, that voice acting was amazing. Holy shit. That just got me, like, emotional again. Like, if that went on any longer, I probably would have started tearing up. Did Tachiro lose his sword again? Oh, man. Is he gonna die? He still has a demon's arm in him. Let's talk one last bit. Oh, fuck, man. We gonna learn anything more? The crow. Ooh. Hmm. Shit. Dang, dude. He was awesome, too. Dude, Inosuke's shaking is actually hitting me pretty hard, just seeing how shaken he is. Aww. Yeah. Uh, the reflection. Damn. Boarhead boy. Yellow boy. Ah. He was probably my favorite out of all the Hashira we met. Like, oh, seeing his mom. Oh, look at that shot. It's beautiful.
Oh. Shit. And there he goes. Damn, guys. Yep. Yep, that got me. Oh, Tanjiro. Ah, oh, buddy. The most real tears from Zenitsu we've seen, I think. Dude, the voice acting. You can't even see his face, but you can tell that he's, like, crying under that mask with the voice acting, I feel like. Yep, yeah, there it is. Of course the mask is crying. Jesus Christ, the voice actors in this movie fucking killed it. He's unconscious now. Oh. Shit, dude. <laughs> I think it's something about people just more than just crying, like, using their body language to show their sadness, like, so seeing Inosuke shaking visibly, oh my god, even the crow's crying, seeing Inosuke, like, visibly shaking hit me, like, very hard, and then just see him, like, running, just flailing his arms, like, he just, like, doesn't know what to do. Oh, shit. They just sent the news. This guy's gonna be like, who's that? Just unaffected, yeah. Damn. Oh, so those two are together, huh? Ooh. I almost like in this moment they don't give us the crazy wacky bird voice, you know, delivering this because I feel like it would sully the moment, you know.
<sighs> Shit. Well, that's ominous. Well, not ominous, but sad to think about. We barely even know the guy, and he's already going to be dying soon. Uh Wow, what a What a somber ending to a beautiful movie, you know? Damn. It was like both like dark and beautiful, like having dark in the sense of like in a movie, usually they end it on, like, a really high note, you know? But they just ended it on this, you know, sad moment, you know? But then we have, like, the... That's just from, like, a meta perspective looking at the movie from a, a viewer. But the events in the movie are, you know, this, this hero fought as hard as he could and saved... 200 passengers and his underlings, you know, and and gave his life for it and found happiness in the end there that he was able to successfully fulfill his duties, you know, even at the cost of his own life and seeing the, you know, apparition of his mother giving approval and stuff, you know, it's very, it's very beautiful in a sense, you know, but it sucks because... As I said, honestly, I know Tomioka is one of the more main Hashiras we have, but just meeting Rengoku briefly in Season 1 and then having him here, I think he's my favorite Hashira, you know? And it sucks that he's gone now, you know? Like, I'm not... I'm not as excited to... Well, I'm, I take that back. I'm excited to see all the Hashira and the way they fight and everything... So I, I can't say that. I have to I have to give them all a chance. But from first impressions, I'm not super excited about many of the others, you know. Although uh I am I actually do kinda like Sonami, as abrasive as he is and like angsty and everything. There is something about Sonami that I feel like he's gonna be a an awesome character eventually. But uh oh, these visuals of having Rengoku and younger him hugging his mom. Ah, uh, the fire rising up. So we have five minutes left of potential credits and potentially things after, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if they do that. But I guess we'll sit here and wait. I'm going to start doing the discussion because of how long this uh, video was. So if anything comes up, we'll stop. But but damn. Um, so that was the Infinity Train movie. Like, the... Honestly, I feel like everything leading up to the Upper Rain Demon showing up was good. You know, having the you know, the lower, the lower number one, you know, Blood Demon, or Blood Moon, was, he was crazy with his whole, like, uh, Resident Evil style, like, possess this train, which is wacky and crazy, you know, and kind of taking these 200 passengers hostage was, uh, oh, even his broken sword is getting on display, um, but, but yeah, seeing that, it was it was crazy, and it was cool see getting, like, you know, something that was in the reach of our characters, you know, Tanjiro and uh, Zenitsu and Inosuke, all of them being able to fight something. Because obviously, if this movie was about that upper rank, you know, they couldn't even get in that fight, you know? The most he was able to do was throw a sword at a demon that's running away, you know? But, oh man... 
So we had the question to uh credits are seemingly ending. Okay, no, it just started over. For some reason my timer on my video is messed up and was saying five minutes longer. Okay. So that's officially the end of the, the movie, guys. Alright. Um So we had to Tanjiro talk in the beginning of the movie a bit to uh a bit to Rengoku about the uh, Hinokami Kagura, which is his dance for the fire god, and he didn't seem to know anything. Obviously, we got a little bit more info in the end, saying if he goes to his home and read the notes from the former, or the pre like the previous Hashira, he'll be good, you know? Uh, or he might find something, I should say. I don't know why I said he'll be good. Um, also, one other thing I wanted to do real fast, guys, is I wanted to go back to that beginning... Let's put... Yeah, there we go. I want to see what it was that he said in the very beginning. He was listing off names. I'd like to settle the score for these children who died while I'm in charge. I've already received seven cases caused by demons this month, right? And then I think this is where the subtitles cut off, I think. Last time. My children in the Demon Slayer Corps are on the front lines even as we speak fighting with demons. Okay, maybe I did see that. No matter how many lives the demons take, the one thing they can never crush is a human's will. Ah, okay. No matter how battered we are, we will always rise up again to fight. Nice. Okay, cool. So, nothing nothing super important I miss. I was wondering, like, can you imagine if he, like, told us that Rengoku was gonna die in the beginning and I missed it because the subtitles messed up? How much of a different experience I had throughout the movie than everyone else whose subtitles weren't messed up, you know? Um, but, but yeah, the, uh, like, like, imagine if, like, he's walking in that graveyard and he said, like, the last thing he said is, like, rest in peace, Rengoku, or whatever, you know, and then I'd be like, wait, you know, and then we go into the movie. Um, but, okay, I'm glad I got to see that, though. Um, uh, I was like, you know, we haven't got to know too much about the master and everything, so... So I have been like, you know, I know stories and I know sometimes they'll be like, oh, the, the leader of your organization is actually like, you know, it's your biggest enemy, you know, it's Muzan in disguise or, or some crazy thing or it's a demon, you know, he's been leading the demon slayers the whole time and it maybe that wouldn't be a bad thing, you know, having this undying person being able to lead and train people to slay demons, he could still be a good guy and be a demon, you know, um, but uh, the more I see from him and hearing that he's, like, potentially gonna die soon, and, and those lines, and him mourning the, the ones that have died, uh, under his watch and guidance and everything, I, I still think they could twist some, some crazy shit in there about him, you know? But at least for the most part, I think he's a good dude, but, but yeah, um... Okay, so what was I saying? Going back to Rengoku's home to find more info. Um, okay. The, uh, he mentioned that there's always a water and fire Hashira. Like, or I guess a water and fire breather amongst the Hashira. So that's interesting. So if there always is one, does that mean there has to be one to take the place of Rengoku now? And if that's the case, I wonder who does it. Like, did he have a person he taught? Is it potentially, uh, like, is his younger brother strong enough yet to become a Hashira? I know his younger brother was aiming for that. So are we setting up for, uh, oh, I didn't write, I didn't write his younger brother's name down and I forgot it now. It started with an S. Shit. Anyway. Like, could he take the place? Or we have Tanjiro kind of learning seemingly a little bit of fire breathing. Like, obviously, he's not nearly strong enough to become a Hashiro, but can that spot... Like, 
how long can that spot stay vacant is what I'm curious. Like, if there's always a water and a fire, like, how long can the fire slot stay vacant until they feel the need to fill it, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe he was saying there just always has been, and now that he's dead, you know, maybe it's just the first time it's not going to be the case or something. But, uh... But, yeah. We got some more info about Tandro's sword being black, about it being, uh... The idea of it is, like, no idea which style the master is, like, one of the personality traits of someone using a black sword, and there's never been someone that's become a Hashiro with a black sword, so that's interesting. My my theory is either Tanjiro's sword is going to change colors when he, you know, decides on a skill, like a like something to master, you know? Like, what if this movie motivates Tanjiro to lean more towards fire, and he wants to follow in Rengoku's footsteps, you know? And what if he threw the sword into that demon and that demon ran off, right? What if he needs to get a new sword now and the color changes to red now that he has this conviction or something, you know? Uh, it, which it, they kind of teased in the beginning with the guy that made the sword for him say, you know, I hope it's a red sword. I think it's going to be a red sword. You look like the kind of person that gets a red sword, you know? And then it ended up being a black sword. So... Uh, yeah, I'm curious about if that's where we're headed, potentially, you know. Um, but maybe it's too soon and, and whatnot, but... We got some flashbacks from Rengoku, with his father being a former Hashira, seemingly. And then out of the blue, he just quit, which is interesting. I wonder if we're ever gonna... Maybe we'll learn more about that when we go to the household, potentially. I don't know, but we kind of just left it at that and, and didn't get to... Didn't get to learn more of it. Um, but the uh, the whole idea, I will say, like, as much as I was iffy on, like, the full body train takeover, it was crazy and cool in some senses, but it didn't inspire itself to be, like, the most exciting choreographed fights because of really just, like, cutting down tentacles and fighting, like, this this train, you know? So, like, obviously the fight between Akaza was, was crazy because... You know, you get to see them, you know, punching blow for blow back at each other, you know. Uh, and you get to see the, you know, people fighting, not like them fighting a flesh monster, you know. So I felt like it was a little more exciting. Um, but that being said, the whole dream idea that happened before all that was really interesting. How this guy had the ability to, like, put you into a sleep, you know. And, uh... And then send, you know, little people doing his bidding into those dreams to travel into the subconscious and destroy this their spiritual core and everything. It was a really neat idea, and seeing all the different dreams is really cool. Um, obviously, extremely tragic from Tanjiro's side because he, you know, gets to experience and see all of his family again and everything. Um, Zenitsu and... And obviously a little bit of that is, like, on the happy side, but on the other hand, it reminds you of what you lost, too, you know? Uh, Zenitsu and Inosuke just kind of had fun times in their dream, and we had a little bit of, like, sad but inspiring stuff in Rengoku's, you know, where he, you know, told his father that that was his dream, right? Shit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to not mix up the dreams versus the flashbacks that we had of Rengoku, but I'm pretty sure the dreams were that of him telling his father he became a Hashira and his father not being pleased or not being impressed, you know, saying you're still going to amount to nothing, which is rough. But then he leaves that room. He tells the truth to his younger brother, like, father wasn't impressed that he became a Hashira, but you have something that I don't, you know, an older brother that, that you know, you can look up to and everything and, and loves you. So I really, I really love that, that moment from, from Rengoku, you know, trying to inspire his brother, but also being honest with him as well, you know. Um, but yeah, and seeing the different core, like the spiritual or the subconscious areas of their dreams is interesting. Like Tanjiro's being this like, you know, beacon of beauty which it really reflects his beautiful soul and everything that, that everyone talks about in regards to him, you know, him being such a good boy and everything. And then, like, 
I'm curious about Rengoku is I thought at first that maybe it was like the idea that he's constantly doing his flame breathing techniques. So maybe even his subconscious is on fire, you know, but maybe it has to do with his burning passion, setting his heart ablaze, you know, and, and everything. It it could be that in, in, in regards to why his, um, why his subconscious was engulfed in fire and everything, but... Um, probably the one I'm most confused about is Zenitsu's. Mm. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I'm wondering why his subconscious is entirely black. Like, I bet there's some stuff that you can gleam out of that in regards to his character. Now, whenever he does do his fighting, he's always unconscious, so maybe his subconscious is always, like, in the dark because of something regarding that, or maybe there's something more psychological there that I'm not picking up on, you know? But I'm really curious to hear, you know, I'm probably going to go watch some other reactors watch this movie now, and I'm really curious to see, like, what they have to think about about his subconscious, because, like, I'm not real great at psychoanalyzing people and stuff like that, and sometimes I overlook some of these little things that you can you know, correlate to their personality, you know, but I I'm curious if there is something there. Um, I I'm sure they, they, I feel like they must have picked it being a, like, pitch black area for a reason, you know, but anyway, I can't think of, I can't think of really why, unless it correlates to him being unconscious for his, um, to do his, uh, lightning, or th Thunder breathing? I believe it's thunder breathing. Um, but, but yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, so that, all that dream stuff was, was really neat, right? Um, but, the idea also, talking about that dream stuff, that the way you break the spell is to kill yourself in your dream and Tanjiro just had to keep killing himself and killing himself throughout the whole movie in his own subconscious, like, or in his own dream, he had to keep killing himself to the point where he got so confused like he was in a dream that he almost killed himself. Thank God Inosuke, you know, was immune to it thanks to the mask, not knowing where he's looking to look him directly in the eye for the spell and everything. So, uh, so yeah, like, that's, that's crazy. <sighs> Excuse me, sorry, it's getting pretty late. Um... But yeah, man, that's, that's just, I like how the, even the demon acknowledged, like, the willpower that it took for, for Tanjiro to, to do this, to, to keep killing himself over and over is, uh, is pretty impressive. It, wasn't there another anime that I've seen where someone had to keep, like, killing themselves over and over again in order to, like progress forward. I'm trying to think if there was, like... It reminds me of kind of, like, almost like a Groundhog Day sort of scenario where you have to witness that stuff over and over. I don't know, maybe it reminds me a little bit of Steins Gate where maybe that's what I'm thinking of, even though he didn't kill himself, you know? He watched someone die and then kept going back over and over and over again and witnessing it over and over and over again and, like, slowly losing his mind because of it and everything. Um, I feel like there was another thing that actually had to do with, like, killing yourself over and over again, but I can't quite think of it now, so... But, uh... But, yeah, that was... That was pretty crazy. Friggin' also Nezuko trying to wake them up and being, like, sad and everything, like, hit me pretty hard. I, like, the older I get, I feel like the visibly seeing people sad, especially the way they can sometimes make anime characters just look so extremely sad and everything, um, especially when it has to do with kids. And I think that's why young Nezuko really affected me, too. It, it really, like, it, it actually got my eyes watering a little bit. Like, I didn't, like, shed tears or anything. I wasn't, like, bawling, crying or anything. But it uh, it actually made my eyes water a little bit because I felt bad for her, you know? Just this, 
this poor little tiny Nezuko just trying to wake her brother up and she just like, you know, does like the head pat thing and I don't know, it was just, it was so adorable but also sad at the same time. Um, but, but yeah, man, the... I mean, I you guys saw me gushing about it throughout the whole movie. The animation, very well done. Props to uh, to the uh, the animators that put all the work into this and, and everything. UFO table, killing it as usual. It looked amazing. There are so many really good looking moments throughout the movie, especially just like some establishing shots of like the forest and the train moving through. It just looks so detailed. The snow and you know Tandra's dream looked incredibly detailed and. You know, uh, it was just so much. I also love that Tanjiro managed to wake himself up. Sorry, I'm kind of jumping around here because I'm thinking of things as as we go. But uh, Tanjiro managed to, like the reflection in his wa in the water when when he cast that reflection was able to yell at him to wake it up. Like that was that was a really cool moment too. Um, but but yeah, damn guys, what a fantastic movie! I gotta say now. As I said at the start of this, I do know that the, um, they, they seem to redo this arc at the beginning of season two. I'm unsure yet. I'm going to wait and see. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I almost want to watch it just to see, like, what differences there are in, in, in stuff. But at the same time, I feel bad. I don't want to, like, waste... I think it's, like, six episodes or something like that. Um, I don't want to waste, like, six weeks of you guys waiting for me to get past it to get into new stuff, you know? But at the same time, I almost kind of want to see it. And some of the other reactors that I watched doesn't seem like they watched it, you know? So I'm wondering how many reactors actually skipped it. And maybe there might be some people that do want to see reactions of the the season version of it. So I, I, I think I'm leaning more towards watching all of it, um, all of season two, regardless. So even if it recaps a lot of what we saw here, you know, um, but, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to fit that in there somewhere, but back to the movie, um, having the upper, the upper rank demon show up. I wasn't expecting that at all. That was crazy. Uh, I really like, I was actually genuinely confused when this, when the first demon they fought, um, died so early because I knew that the, I knew the movie was two hours long. Right. And so I was like, when I saw that there was 30 minutes left, I was like, okay, what are they going to show us for 30 minutes? And I was also like, usually towards the end of anime, they have like, that's when they really like, especially fighting anime. That's really when things heat up and they usually splurge on the animation towards the end of the movie. That's how a lot of them go. And I was like, I feel like we, we've had a lot of good looking things throughout the movie, but I, I don't feel like we've had that splurge moment of, of animation yet, you know, where they just go all out for, you know, a few minutes. And, uh, and so I was really confused and then all of a sudden the upper rank showed up and I was like, oh shit, okay, here we go. And as it went on, I started getting the bad feeling. And honestly, I really hoped that they were going to take each other out. Like, Rengoku was... Like, I didn't want Rengoku to die, but if he was going to die, I was hoping he was going to finish off that demon, you know? But he he didn't manage to do it, unfortunately. Tanjiro wasn't able to to get in there and help much either. And But, I mean, I guess we're... I guess that's going to set up an epic, like... Uh, it's gonna. It's probably gonna set up an epic revenge story for Tanjiro when he comes up against that guy again, you know. And I imagine Tanjiro will be the one to come up against him, especially with how hard, you know, actually seeing Rengoku fight for him and die for him, like to to save all their lives and everything. Um, I imagine it will be pretty intense seeing uh, Tanjiro go up against this guy in the future. So I look forward to that, but at the same time. I'm a little bit sad that we didn't get to see uh, that, that Rengoku, you know, even though he achieved so much by protecting everyone on the train until sunrise, he didn't get to kill an upper rank, you know, which 
would have been an incredible feat even in his death it would have you know been an incredible feat because of how long it's been since the upper rank has died but but yeah oh man what an incredible movie as i said several times but i'm starving guys i want to get some food i could probably talk about more there's so much in this movie honestly but I'm sure I will be covering different aspects of it if, if I do end up doing the the Mugen arc in Season 2. Um, I'm sure we'll be rehashing some of this stuff and talking through it again. And I'm sure I'll be going into more detail. And I think that's probably my plan as the episodes pass that, that go through this arc, you know. Um, so... So I think we will end it here. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me all the way to the end. If you have, I very much appreciate it. Uh, you guys are awesome. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this. It really helps my channel grow and, and get me closer and closer to YouTube partnership and, and all that good stuff. I very much appreciate it. And if you want to see more content from me, you can see early access for Demon Slayer. So the first two episodes of season two will be up there on my Patreon so the link is in the description there. I also have my Patreon exclusive shows where you can see all kinds of things, uh, depending on what I'm watching at the time. But uh, but there's all kinds of exclusive shows on there. So check that out if you're interested. Like I said, link in the description or it should be popping up on the screen. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.